Niamh Heatherton, great to speak to you and it's such a great week for the Dublin ladies footballers. Um, I might just speak to you first though, a bit about the club stuff. Um, I know yourself and John are related, John Heatherton, the great hedge from the, the hurlers, but uh, how come he's Vinny's and you're Clon's Harf? Well, Mam is Vincent's, so I think she had first dibs on the first born was always going to Vincent's. But I actually play with Vincent's myself, play Camogie with Vincent's, but unfortunately they don't have a ladies football team, so I play with my football with Clon's Harf just down the road. So, so yeah. And of course, it was a great year for the club last year as well in the Intermediate All Ireland. Yeah, we had a great year last year, and um, we were struggling to get out of Dublin for three or four years. So last year was unbelievable. We won the Dublin and then went on to Leinster, and thankfully we won the All Ireland as well. It was great. That was against Emmett Og, of course. Do you remember much of it? The final now, when you think back. Uh, yeah, Emmett Og from Monaghan. Yeah, I suppose at the time you wouldn't really remember more much, but. Looking back, like we've watched the game over and over again, like it was unbelievable. It was great, great day for the club and for the county as well. Like it was first Dublin club to win the intermediate All Ireland, so it was good. For, yeah. You scored a lot of goals en route to that final and in the final itself as well. What was that all down to? Ah, uh, yeah, full forward line there. They're good. They know the route to go. And um, yeah, Kiva and Siobhan and Ava and the full forward line. They they know where they're going. So yeah, they all the way for, through the whole campaign like they knew where the goal was and they were able to find it and um just for Clontarf as a club like how much what like what what did it do for a club like Clontarf to get uh, such a you know get such a trophy get their hands on such a trophy it was amazing for the club um i think it was the first bit of all ireland silverware that we've ever won and um, it was great even back in the club afterwards as well because the, the match was in parnell just up the road like we had a massive massive support out for us all the girls that, like for all, all age groups they were unbelievable so yeah it was great for the club and hopefully we'll, it'll be the first of many so when did you first kind of get a, a hint that you might be around the senior panel the dublin senior panel i suppose mick didn't want to intrude on the club scene so he chatted to me afterwards and i was delighted to get the call up what did he say to you he was just kind of mentioning how, he, I suppose, because he's a Clum Tariff man himself, he was at all the games and he was just saying how, if I, like, I did well, so how, so he wanted to see more. Was there any, anything in particular about how you played, like, that he liked about you? Um, no, I think it was just kind of, in general, just kind of get up and... He's all about development and developing players and I think that's what was key to him. That he saw something that he could maybe develop and yeah. he went after it. Because you do play midfield for the club, would I be right? And you've been playing forward for Dublin? Yeah, I play midfield with the club and at the start of the year I was playing midfield with Dublin as well. But I've kind of adopted the full forward role in the past few weeks. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Why do you think um, Mick changed your position? Don't know, he must have seen something, an opportunity. Yeah. I suppose it's always good to have a bit of height in the full forward line, a target. So I think that might have been one of the main objectives. So, yeah. What do you find different about playing midfield at full forward? Oh, it's, they're two mm. completely different um, positions, two completely different like styles of play and stuff. But it's good, and I'm kind of getting to grips now with the differences and stuff. So hopefully mm. we'll continue on that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's something Mick is well renowned for is that his developing of skills with players. How has he helped you in that way? Oh, Mick is great. Like he's such a good coach. Uh, I suppose he's used to his coaching. Um, so yeah, he's given me advice and tips and all the way. Like, and the backroom team are just un unbelievable as well. So they're all chipping in as well. So yeah, it's good. How did you find? coming into the senior setup with Dublin because I'm sure it's a bit daunting maybe for a young player like yourself to come in and there's so many all Ireland medal winners within that panel already. Yeah, no, I was very nervous on my first day, but a few of the girls that I would play minor with last year, they were called up for development at the end of last year. So um, I wasn't completely on my own. They were there and they were kind of a bit more used to it than I was. So it was kind of someone to talked in so that it wasn't completely lonely so yeah it was good but the girls just made you feel so welcome like they didn't bat an eyelid like 
whether it was my first day, like it was great, yeah. How did you find the first kind of training matches playing against those players? Oh yeah, it's obviously going to be tough and um, getting used to the training, it wasn't easy, but like I suppose just keep going and we just had to, I just had to get used to it, like that was the way it was going to be all the time, so yeah, it was good. Is it a big step up, do you think? Um. Yeah, like it, it is, but I last year with Minor we had uh, Bobby McNulty and Greg who they were obviously the senior managers before Mick, so I felt a bit prepared myself. Like I wasn't too behind, but obviously it is a bit major step up. Like they're the best team in the country at the minute, so obviously the train the training's gonna be unbelievable. So yeah, it was a major step up, but it was good. So you're only in the door and you know a few matches under your belt playing inter county level and then you win a leinster title and i know it was an eighth in a row for the dublin ladies team but it was your first one so it must be a totally different feeling for you winning that game last sunday than it was for some of the older players oh yeah big time like the in the dressing room afterwards so they're all on a high like and that uh, trophy is a trophy like it doesn't matter how many times you've won it before it's still as special as the first time you won it like it, they're n it's not going to be there forever so yeah no the, the girls appreciated it as well and I might have appreciated that a little bit more because it was my first but yeah hopefully the first of many did you what kind of experience do you gain do you think from winning a final like that from being in a, a match like that and, and winning it oh yeah massive experience like the girls around you are so experienced so you're just feeding off their experience tr trying to gain your own and build up build up your own experience and kind of it's great like the, the girls are just so helpful and like they're there to help you and they're helping you all the way all Ireland series next it's uh, Waterford first up um, another couple of weeks to go before that game but I suppose look it's, it's a game where Dublin are going to win as, as heavy favourites how are you feeling about it yourself uh, yeah like we're training for it, training hard like we're just preparing for the game focusing on, our, on ourselves focusing on getting the things our simple things right and like rectifying our mistakes from last Sunday so hopefully yeah we'll get a good performance in and once we get a good performance then we'll be happy. Great stuff. Well, it was a pleasure speaking to you. Thanks very much. No problem. Thank you.